Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palitska International, new artist and educator, and I have prepared another design for you. You can have a wheel look here. It is going to be a kind of tie-dye, very quick and easy, uh, but something which is popular this summer. Uh, so I hope you will really enjoy this tutorial. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button. If you're existing, uh, uh, subscriber just hit the notification bell to don't miss any future uh, tutorials let's start so as i say another extremely quick and easy salon designs for you because that's what you ask um, Quite a lot about as well like something which is not too complicated something which is suitable for a beginner but also looks quite nice and effective uh, so we are going to work wet to wet technique and i will show you a few different variations i'm going to start painting my tip some nice pink color say maybe this one i'm going to use the new O'Neill's gel polishes so i'm just applying the color on the entire tip it is kind of wet to wet technique and uh, super quick and easy. And I will show you a few different variations just so you can try different things. Also, if you didn't see it, I show you as well. There is a tutorial on those nails, like really nice texture ones. Um, check it out. Absolutely fantastic technique. Just maybe lift that up because when the light hit it, you cannot see it. So absolutely amazing technique. Very quick and easy like, and I show you another one. So very quick and easy technique. You can see it on my channel too. You can see those nails as well and those ones. <laughs> so there is lots of interesting things. If you're new and that's the first video you are watching, hit the subscribe button to don't miss any. Uh, future tutorials. Now on this tip we are going to paint the yellow color. And all the tutorials are recorded like in a lifetime so you don't miss anything. I'm um, experienced new educator teaching all over the world like upgrading my upgrading my skills all the time just so I can share all the newest uh, new art techniques with you guys. Okay so the first one is cure. And that's the pink one. Our next step is to apply the top coat. And I'm going to use two different top coats. So the first one is a soak of gel polish top coat. Just because gel sticks to the sticky or a rough surface. So first top coat is an inhibition layer top coat. The sticky one. Okay, apply the top coat. And then take either a mixing palette or a foil. I will try to keep the foil a little bit away from the... From the camera so it doesn't reflect on you so nice gel polishes the new new ones absolutely love them summer hero that's a nice name and then i even don't know how to pronounce that i know the second word green <laughs> okay i'll just slap a couple more colors and this one is so lovely it's called Opal Cabana. Oh my goodness. I don't know where these names come from. The blue one is a pastel blue. And then the purple one. Cool. So we have squeezed out a couple of the colors. And now using a slightly bigger brush. No, that's not the one. And that's not the one. Uh, I've got this one. Okay, so using a slightly bigger brush we are going to do the design i'm picking up the blue first oh i missed yellow and i'm just painting a couple of the squiggles okay, so i've got blue wipe to clean my brush go into the green now I'm going to cut it through this blue so they blend nice. So 
And with the wet to wet technique, what is great that you don't have to do much of the work, the gel is going to work for you and do the design. So what I'm doing is I'm just painting squiggles. Yeah, we've got those yellow and then we should go for some pink. Actually, this could be a quick way as well. So you just paint completely random squiggly design. And this way we kind of create like a marbly effect design. I had similar top like years, years ago. And uh, it looks perfect for the summertime. I would suggest you also leave this design for a couple of like seconds so it spreads even more because that's how the wet to wet technique works. And then we've got some yellow one in here. So what I'm going to do is apply the top coat again. So the other one is spreading like. And we will do a different design type of design in here. So I will go, if I've got yellow, I want to go for this color. So I've got pink, 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 pink. Oh, let's do double, why not? So pink. And then after the pink, I want to go for the purple. Because purple goes with yellow. And let's do some blue. It may be a green as well, why not? Just in a couple places. And if I've got green, I want yellow. Cool. So after we have done that, I'm going to pick up my dotting tool. And just start doing the design. So I'm going to go into... Oh, shame I don't have a pen. I'm going to go like this. So start straight, round it straight, round it straight, round it straight, round it straight. Okay, so we are kind of creating like a flowery design. And then I've got another one in here, so. And we could also use this technique to create this kind of <clears throat> marbly look. So this one spread nice and I can pop it into the lamp. I'm not sure which one you uh, prefer it. I just wanted to show you two slightly different ways and you can see how nicely it, they are starting blending and we've got slightly a different kind of look so leave it for a couple of seconds more just so it spreads much nicer as well super quick and easy technique and then once i'm happy i can pop it into the lamp as well give it a cure i might actually get the camera to pick up the pen for me and i will draw the design for you so i've got the pen just behind me the red one will be oh black one is fat as well and the piece of paper, I don't have any, but what I'm going to do is I will use the wipe. Oh, he's getting the paper for me. I've got the wipe, Patrick, so it is okay, actually. Thank you. So I'm painting like this design. So That's for the second technique. You could also go like this way and that will give you different results so whatever you choose to do uh, it will work absolutely fine so my first tip is cured and that's this one and i'm just going to apply the top coat and it looks so nice like different kind of marbles on the nail
So super quick and easy nail art for you. Let me know down in the comments below what else you want to see, which tutorials you like the most, because uh, I'm very happy to produce them for you. And then this one is cute as well. So I'm just applying the top coat. You could also do it just in a white window, like um, so all the nail white and then just do paint like a wee triangle or something or a square part and just do this design uh, in a kind of blocking form. But I think they they really super quick and easy designs. So the top coat didn't cure properly yet. I'm too clumsy to get it out. Uh, but that's the uh, three ones and I'm just going to remove the other one as well just to show you the difference when we painted the design compared to going with the brush so depends which technique you prefer you can get a slightly different results I hope you have enjoyed watching these tutorials glittery hacks and bye for now